Okay, we've got a very, very well-weathered package from Ukraine. This has been coming about five, maybe six weeks in the mail, when normally the international mail from Ukraine is about two weeks. The COVID virus has slowed everything down very significantly. Now, I'm going to do this as safely as possible. In the past, you've seen me do unboxings. I'll put harps directly in my mouth without cleaning them. I don't advise you do that now. You might take a few more precautions and you're gonna see that here in a bit. Now, this package smells very strongly of thyme. I took the whole package and sprayed it down with a uh, disinfectant, uh, thymol, a organic one. But anyways, so we're gonna cut this open. We're gonna do things a little bit differently because of the virus, the virus's peak. And I advise everybody, protect yourself. And you may hear, I'm a little bit congested. I have seasonal allergies. That's not going to go away. It's happened every spring and every fall since about I can remember. Let's go ahead and let's get this box cut open. Now we're going to come down here. Yes, you see my shirt I got from the zoo, which I'm sad is closed right now because of COVID. It's a uh, Rasta lion. <laughs> I love this shirt. Anyways, this isn't about a shirt. We're, we're going to do an unboxing. So I disinfected the outside of this. Let's cut this open. Actually have my address, so we'll keep it. We'll keep it down. So I keep my address facing away. This knife is very dull. Oh, we start with a razor sharp knife. And maybe some grunting. Eh. Eh. There it is. This box and box is from Dennis Plehanov. And ooh, it's got a tail on it. Oh, look at that. It's 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 blued like he normally does. Very simple wood case, just a wooden block. Kind of some stretchy cord. Now, at this part of the video, you would normally see me put this harp directly in my mouth. Oh, that is nice. Those gaps are short embouchure. Gaps are very, very tight. Oh, I like the reed has been ground in this dimension all the way down, almost to the end. In the style I've seen a Plehanov most often. Nice recurve trigger. The Plehanov I've played before played beautifully inward, beautifully outward. But... Now, let's come back up here for a second. I would normally put this harp in my mouth, play it, get some sound. We're not going to do that. Let's go to the kitchen. We're going to wash this with soap and water. I also have things like MIT Mist, which is an alcohol-based cleaner. But to my understanding, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, the best thing is soap and water for at least 30 seconds. So we're going to go up. Let's go wash this off. We're gonna also going to wash our hands before we touch it again. So... Let's go upstairs. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do here is I have a good soap, I have my hands, and I have some water. I touch packaging, touch things that come through the mail. We're gonna wash our hands for 20 seconds or so. Getting all the places on your hands. I don't know if this is actually 20 seconds, but we'll leave the soap sit on here. I'll take this harp and I'll put some soap on it. It's got warm water. My water's very, very hot. I'm going to soak this down very, very well. I'm going to get soap everywhere on this thing. This is the most effective way that I have heard. So, this thing's been aged for about six weeks, almost well, five weeks getting here. So, it probably should be okay, but we're not taking any precautions. We're not trying to save any time here. Why get in a hurry when you're staying at home anyway? So we're going to wash this very, very well. The warm water, good rinsing. I'm going to get my hands as well as I can. Man, this water's hot. <laughs> my sink doesn't like to mix the hot with the cold water very well. So I think that thing's clean. Let's get all the soap off of us. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we've got this harp. This harp's all wet. Harps, steel harps, do not like to stay wet with water. Let's dry it very, very thoroughly. 
Oh, that is just, oh, that's just a beautiful harp. Thank you to Dennis Plehanov. We're gonna dry it as well as we can. We've soaked it very, very well. And if you have some, if you're not gonna be playing right away, I would advise to wipe it down with coconut oil till you're able to play it. But we're going to switch locations. We're gonna check this harp out. That is just, now that we got the oil off it, that is just a beautiful, beautiful instrument. We've cleaned it very well with soap and water. Let's go get an ear on this. Okay, we got a harp here. We've washed it with soap and water and dried it very thoroughly. We have uh, protected our neck the way the great thespians from the clan of Wu-Tang would say. <laughs> but anyways, let's get an ear on this. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, it's so much prep work just to put a harp in my mouth, but it's necessary. Here we go. Let's see. We got a short embouchure about this long, very, very tight gap. Oh, this is perfect for highlighting gaps. You can see the gaps very well with the white wall on the back of me. Whenever I like to check gaps, I like to glimpse at a white wall that's lit well. So that is, those are as perfect as you're going to get. Compression. Oh, that is, that is perfect, perfect. Let's see here. Oh, that is just beautiful, nice, clean bell ring. This is exactly what I wanted. I told them, build me something with a really, really clean sound. And that is... Oh, that is beautiful. I'm saying for the bell ring, what I was looking for, what I was expecting. This is exactly what I want. I want to clean, but a little bit of a little bit of fire behind it. It's got a very, very pleasant stiffness. I enjoy a lot of more Chang, so I like that good stiffness. Absolutely identical sound, inward and outward. Beautiful sound. Um, sustain. Good sustain for a higher note. Normally, higher notes don't have as good sustain, but it, it keeps going a ways. I like that. I like the feel of it. This is very, it doesn't look like it, but it is very, very smooth feeling. It's textured, but the textures are sanded or polished smooth trigger feel. I would say, I would give this harp an A plus, um, outward even for an outward player. Excellent play outward, excellent play inward. Really good design on a recurve. Sometimes recurve triggers don't play as well outward, but this one is just fantastic. I'm betting because we have a lot of weight protruding past the knee. I like to see 20, 30% of the weight extending over the knee instead of being back that way for outward play. This is an excellent instrument. I like the little, he left a little tail on there because I play a lot of more Chang and I like that. I like the tail. Now the tail is not... This is not a handle for holding the harp. It is just something that extends past it. Uh, Master Plahanov out of Ukraine. You can find him on social media. His name is Denis, D-E-N-I-S, Plehanov, P-L-E-N-P-L-E-H-A-N-O-V. Oh, I won the spelling bee. Anyways, this is how I'm doing unboxings right now during the COVID thing. If you get harps in the mail, now harps that have went through the mail, have passed through a lot of hands, I would... Protect your neck, as the Wu-Tang Clan says. You know, wash it good with soap and water. Wash your hands after you're done handling packaging. Throw that packaging away. Get it out of your house. But anyways, to master plan off, fantastic instrument. I love it. Make sure to keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oiled. Stay at home. Stay good to each other. Uh, enjoy your time at home. Write a book. Play the harp. Pick up a new hobby. I love y'all. Keep your harps clean. Keep your harps dry. Keep your harps oiled. I love y'all. Adios. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Oh, <laughs> oh,